Hey everyone, I'm Ariana Bernard and welcome to Wednesday's Scarlet Scoop. Today we're going to discuss the reduction of merit-based scholarships at OSU for next year, USG's university address, the New Hampshire primaries, and wrapping it up with some of the worst dates some OSU students have been on. So let's get into today's top stories. Ohio State's merit-based scholarship funding is expected to decrease next academic year. However, this decrease in funding will only affect incoming freshmen. The money awarded for the National Buckeye, Maximus, Provost, and Trustee scholarships will decrease by 5% in the fall, a difference of $2 million. Merit-based scholarships are awarded as set amounts distributed over four years, so current scholarship holders will retain the same level of financial aid that they began with. Some of the funding will be reallocated to need-based financial aid. For more on this story and how much money will be awarded for each scholarship, visit the campus section of thelantern.com. From launching a new safety app to welcoming the Vice President of the United States to campus for the It's On Us campaign, undergraduate student government has had a very busy year. President Abby Grossman and Vice President Abby Wadelik discussed these highlights during their State of the University address Tuesday night. However, the duo also emphasized that they do not plan to slow down anytime soon. Topics USG plans to work on this semester includes college affordability, reforming meal plans, giving students an active voice as the university discusses privatizing energy, and more. Lantern TV was at the event and spoke with USG's Deputy of Staff to learn more about the organization's upcoming plans. We want to make strides when it comes to creating a better dining plan for next year. We're going to change it. We're going to do what we can. Um, hopefully, we'll, we'll be able to work with administrators and, and get that to happen. Um, I think that working with STEP to make sure that every student has the opportunity to be a part of the program, to, re to receive a stipend, all that stuff, that, that, that's really important as well. Um, those, are the, those are the two main things that we can definitely get accomplished. And we also, you know, we're bringing in the, the president of the NAACP, a great opportunity to collaborate with other organizations um, and a plethora of other things. I think that the one thing that I want students to know is that we're not going to stop working. The 2016 presidential election season kicked off last month with the Iowa caucus. The candidates appeared in New Hampshire on Tuesday to continue their campaigns. Democratic candidate Senator Bernie Sanders was victorious for his party with 60.4% of the vote, defeating former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who got 38%. The Republican candidates also traveled to the Granite State. Businessman Donald Trump claimed the first place position, winning with 35.3%. Ohio Governor and OSU alum John Kasich followed with 15.8% of the vote, and Iowa winner Senator Ted Cruz received 11.7%. For some people, Valentine's Day is a time to spend with their significant other in a romantic way. But for others, things don't always turn out so well. Lantern TV caught up with some students around campus to hear some of the worst dates they've ever been on. Worst date I've ever been on was when we were watching The Omen, which is kind of like an old scary movie, and I was not scared at all, and he was uh, kind of freaking out and wanted to stop watching it. Worst date I would have to say was we were at a casual dinner, and this chick met, met up with her ex-boyfriend, who just happened to be eating next to us, and uh, we had a 30-minute conversation while we were eating. It was just an awkward situation. I am really have real bad anxiety and stuff like that, so I remember vividly before I got on my car, I walked up to the porch and uh, I actually did throw up off the front porch <laughs> because I was so nervous and their parents heard, overheard it and they laughed a lot too and that's something that will be probably in my head for a long time. I did date this one guy who kept asking me to come over to watch movies with him and I mean, well that's nice to just sit there and talk to him. I got kind of boring so just, you know guys, mix it up a little bit. That's all we have for you on today's Scarlet Scoop. Be sure to tune in to tomorrow's for a more positive Valentine's Day edition and for more campus news. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.